Hello, all my HCG family. It's Monday morning. I'm heading to work. Um, I'm still sick, but I think I feel a little bit better today. The sickness is a little strange because I have waves of days or times of days that I feel better or think I'm on the mend and then all of a sudden it goes all back downhill again. It's kind of strange. So, but I have work to do so I'm going to go into the office and I will stay as long as I feel good and hopefully I just feel good most of the day. Um, this is definitely kicking my butt though. So, I didn't really do a whole lot this weekend fix this sorry um oh it's very sunny wow sorry about that I didn't do a whole lot this weekend I went and got my hair done did some stuff in the yard did my food shopping all that fun stuff but I just didn't really do much I didn't get to see my nephew he's sick and I'm sick and so we stayed away from each other but um so, to report, um, today is round one, phase three, day 20. Sorry about all that sun. I don't even know what to do about it. It just is what it is. Um, I have one more day left in phase three. I have stabilized beautifully, if I don't say so myself. Um, as of today, I am still three point, I think it's 3.60 below LDW. So, um... And I've kind of stayed there. Like, I haven't really budged much. I did not weigh in yesterday. I just skipped it. No, Not for any particular reason, except that I am obsessive with the scale. And I hope that maybe at some point I can stop weighing every day. Um, so, I just decided to skip yesterday. And, um, and that was fine. It didn't really bother me too much. So... And I'm sure that I was the same weight. So I'm the same weight today that I was two days ago. So if there was a fluctuation, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, t to be honest. So um, so tomorrow will be my last day of phase three. And as I've said before, in phase four, I'm not going to change things up too much. I am going out to dinner next weekend with my husband to my favorite restaurant. So I will have my first starches then. But then... Um, I won't have any before and I won't have any after probably. I'm just going to try to stay away from starches. So it'll be interesting to see how I respond to those if I have any type of response. Um, but other than that, I'm just sticking with what I've been doing. It works. Um, I'm going to start adding cardio and um, weights back into my workout routine. So I'll continue to, to do my yoga. Uh, which I did throughout the entire HCG, every um, phase two and um, phase three. Um, I do yoga Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with the exception of being sick, I didn't go when I was sick. So um, Tom is still in the house, and it's a heavy cycle for me. This is probably one of the heavier cycles I've had in a really, really, really long time, which is interesting to me because... In order to have a heavy cycle means that you had to have a thick lining and the hormone progesterone is responsible for building up that lining and of course I know this because I'm going through infertility and I've gone through treatments and shots and injections and stuff. So I know which hormones are responsible for which. So to me, I would have to draw the conclusion that the HCG... I don't want to know, I don't know if I want to say it balances your hormones or it imbalances your hormones. I mean, in the fertility world, for me, having a heavy cycle is a good sign of a thick lining. And a thick lining is important because that's where the baby, the embryo, the fertilized egg or the embryo implants. And so we always want to have nice cushy linings um, for that to happen. So if there's any boys listening, you probably just don't want to listen right now, but... Um, so anyway, I'm just thinking that it's a good thing, like that it's done good things for my cycle, but I don't know. I mean, it could be, what if it's too much? I don't think it's too much. It's not like I can't stand it. I think it's just a much healthier flow than I've traditionally had. So to me, I would view this as an improvement. Um, but like I said, I don't know, you know, particularly it's the progesterone that, that 
has you have keep a nice lining so to me it sounds like it's um, I've always had low progesterone so I would think that it somehow balanced that out and that would be a good thing so and maybe that's why some people do end up pregnant on HCG I don't you know I've heard of girls who struggled with fertility who did HCG and have gotten pregnant after doing it it could be a result of the weight loss it could be a result of the hypothalamus resetting the hormones it could be a combination of the both who really knows you know and the people who don't get pregnant are obviously practicing things to not get pregnant either birth control or abstinence or whatever so um, but I wonder if they didn't use those things how easily they would get pregnant so um, so anyway I'm viewing it as a good thing and the next three weeks can't go fast enough because I am beyond excited to um, to start the next round. Um, my goal for the next three weeks is to try to lose six pounds on my own. So two pounds a week, nothing crazy. I'm thinking with a little exercise and still eating by the hunger scale that that's completely doable if my um, metabolism has reset and my body's kind of working the way it should be or at least better than it was before. I don't see why that should be too much of an issue for me to be able to accomplish. So, wish me luck. I hope you guys are all doing well. I watched some videos this weekend, although I didn't get to comment. Sometimes I watch them while I'm in the car. Like, I'll play them while I'm in the car so I can hear them. I don't necessarily watch them, but I can hear them. And then also, I watched a few when I went to go get my hair done the other day. Me and my hairdresser watched. She does HCG too. And so um, she watches some of you, so we watch some of you together, um, as long as she wasn't blow drying or whatever, where we could hear. So um, so that was fun. But um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to catch up today, and hopefully I'll be able to go back and comment on some that I've watched. Um, happy releases. Those that are going into a new stage or phase, good luck to you with that. And... Um, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.